Mark Cuban, happiest man alive. Man, he bought the Mavericks back in 2000. First of all, man, this guy has played everything right in his life. He built up this uh, company uh, valued at $5.9 billion when it was just smoke and mirrors. Keep it real. Yahoo buys it for $6 billion, and then it crashes. But you know what happened? Mark Cuban got to keep the $6 billion anyway. Okay? You know what you call that? Genius. And then he did what we all want to do. He lived the American dream. He's like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy a private jet. I'm going to buy a yacht. I'm going to have a good time. And furthermore, I'm going to buy a professional franchise. Anyone bought a sports franchise, uh, and uh, he tried his damnedest, man. He got every good player he could imagine. He put them on those Mavericks. He tried it this way. He tried it that way. He tried it in a hundred different ways. And God, he wanted it so bad. You could tell how bad he wanted it. And then finally, he put together this great crew with Tyson Chandler, Jason Kidd, Sean Marion for the first three quarters. Dirk Nowitzki, Jason Terry, et cetera. And by the way, they were missing Karan Butler and Haywood. He, they were out. And look at Berea. By the way, everybody, uh, I went to go play basketball on Sunday. Everybody's saying they're Berea now. He's like the new American hero. Okay, you hear it from all the courts, like, Berea, as they put up a shot. Anyway, and Cuban delivered it, man. He lived the dream. And so you could tell. Like, you know, remember Jackie Slater when he dropped the pass in the end zone in that uh, famous uh, Super Bowl between the Cowboys and the Steelers, and the announcer said, he's got to be the sickest man in America. Well, uh, as I watched Mark Cuban with that smile he could not remove from his face uh, after the uh, Mavericks won, I thought, he's got to be the happiest man in America. And he earned it. God bless his heart, man. Way to live the American dream.